Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back. If you're here, my name is V. Welcome to the channel. Um, you were divinely guided by Holy Spirit to obtain a piece of the um, puzzle that you need to fit into something or to get some information. So we're happy that you're here. Welcome to my OGs. Welcome back, OGs. Let me give you a hug. Ooh, there we go. So um, I'm going to get right into it. It's not a good message. I was not planning on making a video today, but I'm on my way out the door and daddy said make it. So um, it is not, I don't have anything scripted. I'm just going to say and speak from the heart from what he was kind of talking to me about. So um, you may hear background noise and stuff like that too. So God said to, and this is, I'm talking to two separate people. So I'm talking to those who continue to do spells and witchcraft and to harm God's people. And I'm talking to God's people too. So to those who continue to harm God's people, as you see on the front screen, repent now. Repent now. Warning, it is a biblical scripture. Warning comes before destruction. This is your warning. This is your last warning. I see some things on the horizon. This is your last warning. Leave God's people alone. Don't do spells on them. Don't touch them. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Leave them alone. He said to lead you into a prayer of repentance. Whew, Holy Spirit, anoint my mouth. Father, Holy Father in heaven, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, repeat after me. I repent for everything that I've done, and I ask for your forgiveness, and I turn away from that which I have done. I am sorry. I apologize for what I have done. In Jesus' mighty name. You're going to ask him to search your heart and to remove anything that is not of him. He is showing you who these people are very clearly. He showed me very clearly today. And you know, there's a separation even within these groups. Okay, so I'm speaking to both groups at the same time too. understand that these people who will not stop, God is showing them exactly who you are. He's allowing them to see through their own eyes who you are to him. And he's giving warning, thank you, Holy Spirit, before destruction. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's a division within a division. So there are groups, there's, there's, thank you, Holy Spirit, there's levels of disobedience. Okay? There's willful disobedience. There's, you know, different levels to it. Okay, and then there's just stubborn, don't care, just total disregard for God, disobedience. And God is, thank you, Holy Spirit, God is separating even within this. So there's separations on each end. That's why one of the videos down here, Shades of Grey, there's levels to this. It's like a, a ruler and shades of gray, you know, until you get to the dark, until you get to the light shades of gray there's different increments of it so god is showing you who these people are who his people are for a reason leave them alone don't put your mouth on them don't touch them don't touch them to god's people so that you understand um for for those of you who don't or can't see and he's not reveal this to you. God is showing them who you are in him. Very clearly, he's showing them. Some of them absolutely know what they're doing and they're being stubborn in their sin. Some of them don't know, but they're learning now who you are in God. And in all honesty, I'm even nauseous to my stomach about what he's telling me. I'm literally physically nauseous to my stomach. He 
if you are one of God's children, thank you, Holy Spirit, and you do not know if that is a child of God, leave them alone. Leave them alone. Ask God to show you and say, Lord, I repent for anything I ever said, anything I ever did. You know, I don't want to be, thank you, Holy Spirit. He said, I don't want to step in the way of your will and get your wrath. Thank you, Holy Spirit, come through. I repent for everything that I've, I've said or done or, you know, consciously or unconsciously. If you have ill will in your heart towards someone and that person has not done anything to you, ask God to cleanse your heart. And repent. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ask him to give you the strength. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I heard that. To be a better person. And leave them alone. Leave them alone. God knows their life's assignment. God knows them. And from man's perspective, you don't know that person. Not everything is revealed. Just like everything was not revealed about Moses until that day, you don't know that person. You know what you know of them, of that snapshot that God has allowed you to see or, or, or that, you, you, that you've experienced from them. You don't know what God knows about that person. Leave them alone. Please, please leave them alone. I'm begging you right now. Please leave them alone. Don't put your opinion on it. Don't put your mouth on it. Leave them alone. Because it's, it's past this point. It's not going to go well. You just got a glimpse of what is the pre-show. You got a glimpse around one. Leave them alone. I can't say it enough. Please, for your sake, leave them alone. That's all I got today. Holy Spirit, is there anything else you want to say? Yes, I heard that, Lord. He said, come away from the altars. Thank you. You did. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I remember. He said to those who have gone to the dark side to take a child of God's name to have work and he said roots specifically done. He said the people you have gone to, he has specifically shown them who God's kids were. And some of them have been honest and said, I will not do this. I'm not going to do this because they know the ramifications. Heed the warning. He says, some of y'all, thank you, Holy Spirit, are shopping around for other people to do this work. He said, no, leave my children alone. And he said, if you do not, vengeance belongs to him. Past this point. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come through. He said, heed this warning today. Now, nothing is promised. Heed the warning today. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Thank you, Holy Spirit. I heard that. He said, my sword comes quickly. That's it. 